replace it, you just put it back through that window you made, pull the tension 180 degrees, and it's out. We're tying down a filing cabinet, and we're going to use quarter inch Paramax to make it happen. Paramax is a nylon cord, and I'm going to start it off with an artillery loop, which is just a loop. And then I'll take this end here and I'll push it through a window that I create by putting the free end over through that window there. I like this loop because it's easy to tie and it's easy to untie. And I'm just going to put it on my first anchor point here. Now for a typical trucker's hitch, I'd put a couple bends into the rope, right? And then I would take this end here, throw it over, grab this one through, and then I'd pull everything together, right? And then here is my loop right here. Here's my standing end that I can pull. And then I get my two to one advantage, right? But whenever I let go, I lose all my advantage. This is how you keep it all. So we all have the same frame of reference. There's the top of the cabinet. Right there is my secondary anchor point. And then down on the ground is the rest of the cord that I'm working with. All right, so my left hand, I'm gonna form a bite. And then on my right hand, I'm gonna put in a complete coil. Now I know coil is not proper rope terminology, but stay with me here. I'm gonna pull my coil off, rotate it 180 degrees, and then put the bite right back through. And then all I have to do is take this bite and anchor it along my standing end. Now, I like to do just a common lark's head or lark's foot. I'll make a bite, put my fingers through, go around and pinch, and then fold those ears together. Then I'll take my bite and I'll put it through and I'll tighten it up. I'm doing this now down here because the camera angle may not show what I'm doing. But that's what I'm using to anchor my upper loop right there. All right, let's get to business. Form a bite, one complete coil, pop it off, rotate it 180 degrees, pop it back on. And now I just need to anchor this loop here or this bite along my sanding end. Now here's where the magic happens. When I pull on this rope, every piece of tension that I put in, I get to keep. So pull, remains tight, pull, remains tight, pull, still tight. Now I'm gonna put in some major tension into this thing. Check this out using an extension, a half inch extension. Watch all the tension that I'm about to pull on this. Okay. This is tight. Now, how do I release it? All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the end that I was pulling on and I'm gonna put it through this little window here and pull it 180 degrees opposite of the way I was pulling. Okay, so I just pull it, that's it. Everything's loose. You don't want to just rely on this black wall hitch. That's what you're forming here is a black wall hitch. Once you pull on your tension, you're going to take another bite and put in a couple half hitches. Okay. There's one. There's two. Now this setup here has never failed me. I think you'll appreciate it too. Now seeing this may help you understand why this works. I have my other ink point over here. Now here's another way I can do it. I could take this free end here and I could flip it over and then I have an X. You can see an X right there where my thumb's at. I can take that X and I can put it over the top and then I fold over this loop right over that bite, right? And now when I pull on this, you can see that when I pull, it slips under that locking portion and every piece of tension that I put in, I get to keep. Let's see if you can zoom in on that and you can see what's happening. Now, when I wanna let it go, I just pull it the other way and it spills the knot. So this portion pops upwards and now it's just a simple coil that will loosen up. 
So here's the basic of how this works. I'm going to take a bite, form it into my rope, and then I'm going to take my standing end and I'm going to make a complete coil around it. Now, I know coil is not proper terminology, but stay with me here. I'm going to pop this coil off, turn it 180 degrees, and then put it back on. Okay. Now I just need to anchor this loop to my standing end right here. Now I like to use a large foot. I'm just going to form another bite and fold it around itself. There we go. And I'm going to put this loop through it. Okay. Now here's where the magic happens. Now when I pull on my standing end, every bit of tension that I pull in stays in there. 